Yo YouTube everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm showing you some public gameplay with the Castor 562, I believe. I might have just butchered those numbers. Could be completely random. But yeah, we're trying to get for a nuke today's video. If we can't get a nuke, we're going to try to get a 100 bomb or something like that, man. So let's, uh, let's see how this one goes. Going through the left-hand side here. And I mean, Shipman is just mixy, man. You guys know how it is if you guys play. Shipman is mixy. You're going to push through these containers, get the slide off. Too many people there. Going to back off. I mean, I've got a UAV in my hand, but I don't even have time to use it. And one thing I'm noticing so far in this gameplay is, yeah, when I'm approaching an enemy, if I can get a drop shot off, I'm able to kill them. And this gun, oh, this gun kind of beams, man. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Look, I'm jumping around corners, and I'm already on like a 9 kill streak right now, on a 10 kill streak. One of that, two of, two of that advanced UAV, just within 21 kills, man. We're absolutely popping off right now. Going to slow down the gameplay just a little bit, try to get some pacing back, because that, that beginning was just really intense, man. So we're going to slow down the game. We go through, all right, we're one off the advanced UAV, so we can do here go to the left we get one oh my god all right breathe let's pop the stem here back up no shot bro that was such a good start man that guy literally pushed through with his knife that guy had one agenda and that was to kill me all right so first we get knife then we get shotgun all right i like the sound of this it's definitely a shipment lobby in a scenario like this i'm not gonna lie to you guys when i got an advanced uav i don't even look at the screen i mainly just look at the mini map and see exactly where they're coming from and literally just aim my arrow towards that player basically that's what i do like most of the time i'm literally looking at the mini map there go through and we're one shot but these uh these drop shots are working now you know what? I'm, not, I'm not messing with that guy man he killed me the first time i'm not messing with him I'm gonna back off we got the reload off all right they're spawning in this left corner we should be we should be okay here if we, if we kind of pre-fire them going through I mean, the way we're taking these gunfights right now, we're not doing too bad on another Merciless. Doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. But let's see if we can get that nuke. To get a nuke on this game, it is quite difficult in shipment, man. I think you have to uh, you have to kind of be one with the chaos because the chaos is uh, is a lot, man. You can't really let the chaos get to you. You have to make sure you're a part of it. And that is kind of what we're doing here. Let's go through another advanced UAV. All right, we're starting to cook here. We are starting to cook. We should be able to hopefully get the nuke here going through. They're spawning on my left. Let's see what we can do. Going to push through. Ah, there's another one. There's another two. They run no. So that is the problem, man. The problem is you got to find the balance between finding the shotgun players and playing aggressive, man. Honestly, you know what? I wish shipment, right? Let me know if down in the comments you guys think this is a good take or, or a terrible take. If they had a shipment game mode without like tacticals, you can't use nades, you can't use stuns, you can't use RPGs. It's not like rank play to that extreme, but even just a shipment 24-7, but without all the chaos, man. I think that would be pretty good, man, because it's a small map. It'll be quite fun to just use your guns and stuff. Um, obviously, you can still use pistols and stuff, snipers, but just get rid of all the all the bullshit, to be honest. Get rid of the shotguns, get rid of the RPGs, all the nades and all that stuff. And I think it'll be pretty good, man. I can't lie to you guys. That might be a hot take, but yeah, I think that's a good idea. For the rest of this gameplay, I want to kind of talk about my Modern Warfare 3 wish list. I don't really know how I want to structure these kind of gameplays. I think you guys, if you can let me know down in the comments what you guys want me to do, how you want me to structure them. I'm a bit new to the public side of things. My channel is based more on rank play. So yeah, let's talk about my Modern Warfare 3 wish list. So we go through, we get a massive three piece here. We're going to push through, slide across. We get a four piece. We back off, almost getting the five. I'm on 37 kills. So yeah, my Modern Warfare 3 wish list. Sorry, back to it. Um, in terms of competitiveness... Uh, actually, you know what? We could have played a public match. Let's start with pubs. What do I want for public matches? Well, one thing which I don't think we're going to get back, but if you guys are OGs and you remember, the original Modern Warfare 3 had the uh, specialist system. Now, for me, that was the most elite system in all of Call of Duty history. It was so much fun. If, for you guys that don't know, um, basically what it was is you start with your perks, right? And instead of have, I can't remember, was it instead of score streaks? Honestly, my memories, it was so long ago. I was, I was, it was like 10 years ago. But the main kind of point of this was is you start with a basic perk package, right? You pick your, say, three perks. You get, ten, uh, you get three kills, for example, and you get another perk. You essentially upgrade and unlock a perk. So let's say you unlock Dead Silence as a perk, for example. And then after two more kills, you get maybe Sleight of Hand. So essentially, the way it works is as you progress through the game, you're unlocking more perks with your life. If you die, it obviously resets. It's kind of like score streaks, but it, uh, it stacks on for for perks and it just made it so much fun because once you get to i believe seven kills you had something called a specialist bonus as we get a nice little four piece right there gonna go back and forward here between the commentaries and the live comms as we go through we try to try to make some plays there but yeah this game this game is getting really mixy so it's hard to kind of keep up with what's happening and the the wish list but anyways back to the wish list um yeah so that was just a really good concept because once you got seven kills you actually had specialist pro and 
And with specialists, what you did is you had all the perks activated, which just made you seem like insane. You essentially had sleight of hand, you know, ninja, double time, whatever, man. You had every single perk, which was really fun to use. You felt like a, like a superhero on the map. I can't lie. The, the feeling was so weird. And another thing is you actually had all your weapon proficiencies. So I don't know how they would make it work in this game. As we go through another four piece, man, we're absolutely beaming. This map is just, I don't know how people get nukes on this map without using VPN, man, because these lobbies are kind of cracked, man. And to get a nuke on this map is just so insane with the amount of shotguns going up against. But yeah, specialists is a definitely a big one I would love to see back in multiplayer. I don't think it would happen, to be honest, because I haven't seen any rumors for it. Another thing is a lot more medium, just quality maps, man. I think maps are the biggest, biggest thing of multiplayer. Because think about it like this, right? You can have a game that you absolutely love, like Black Ops 2, for example. I've had Black Ops 2 where I, where I played it, and... Um, you know, I've had some maps which I absolutely love, like Raid, Standoff, Slums, and I had such a good time. And then there's some maps like Aftermath, which I hate, and I literally back off. So it's not actually the game. If you think about just that context, the map is so bad, you don't physically want to play that game. Now, in the recent CODs, we've had so many bad maps that I just feel like most of the time when I'm playing public matches, I just don't want to play because the maps are so horrible. We go from Snake in this, we get two, we get a three-piece, Snake in it, and another four-piece, man. We're, we're kind of frying this game. I can't believe that we didn't get the nuclear. That would have been such a good game to go for our first public match so that's my wishes number one bring back specialists and um number two is maps i don't think it's going to happen but for number three man increase the time to kill time to kill is such a pain man as you can see in this gameplay and what it does is just re re remove skill man it removes the skill gap and there's so much, I can literally go into another video speaking just about this topic, man. But the skill gap in Call of Duty has gone so low right now because there's no movement in the game. There's um, not much recoil in the guns. It kind of comes down to that you can obviously be more skilled than your opponent, as you see dropping 72 kills. But I think there's a, a real big fine gap between the skill gap then and skill gap now. Unfortunately, I don't have another gameplay right now. This is my first time doing this video. In the future, I'll make it a bit more structured. If you guys want me to maybe talk about topics while I have gameplay, that's an idea I can do. Whatever you guys think, man, let me know down in the comments try to help me out for this one because i'm a bit lost there but anyway not a bad gameplay to go off hope you guys enjoyed this video a bit of a different one and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video peace